Hey everybody, I got a Netgear Wi-Fi range extender and the question is, does it work? This specific one is the N300. It's $30 on Amazon. For the initial setup, you're gonna have to take your Wi-Fi extender and bring it fairly close to the same room that your router's in. First, you wanna turn on your Wi-Fi extender. Wait for it to boot up. When it's done booting up, the power light is going to turn green. And then you're going to click WPS on the Wi-Fi extender. And then you're going to click WPS on your router. And after a few minutes, it should sync together. And when it's done syncing, you're ready to go. You'll take it anywhere you think will be most beneficial. So when everything is up and running, you can see that it's connected to the router. And that is if any devices are connected, which right now they're not. But check this out. So I'm usually connected to uh, the main Wi-Fi in my room because that's where I, I'm usually at. It'll rename the same name that you have and put EXT at the end. It's this Wi-Fi extender. Here's the diagram of how you want to set it up. This is your uh, main Wi-Fi, and then this is the extension. The real question is, does this work? The Wi-Fi extender uses the same password for your network, so... So I'm going to do a speed test of the regular Wi-Fi. Right now we're paying for 60 megabytes download per second and 5 upload or 4 upload 4 megabytes upload Look at that internet speed. And we're paying for 60. So if you're if you uh, you're in a household that pays for 10 megabytes, you're probably going to be getting two or one in your bathroom. And here you can see the biggest difference of all. So tell me if you think it's worth buying a Wi-Fi extender. Tell me if you have one, if you use it, and uh, what room had the most Wi-Fi problems. But I hope you liked the video. Oh, cool thing. So as if there's any devices connected, see that? If I disconnect, it'll turn off. Yeah, almost instantly it turned off.